As you reach the bottom of Audlem Locks, you emerge onto the Cheshire Plain and the Shropshire Union starts aiming for Nantwich. Before the amalgamation that formed the Shropshire Union network of canals, this was where Telford's high-speed canal met the Chester Canal, built some 50-60 years earlier. But before you get there, the pair of locks at Hack Green sit alongside a 20th century secret. An old radar bunker from the Second World War was rebuilt in the 1960s as one of 17 regional government headquarters. The Home Office only abandoned the network in the early 1990s and this one was bought by a private company and opened to the public as a museum with a Cold War theme. Onwards towards Nantwich, where the canal sits on a tall, sweeping embankment overlooking the western side of this historic town. The road to Chester pierces the embankment and the canal crosses it on an elegant and recently restored aqueduct. Designed by Thomas Telford, the Grade II listed monument is known as the Gateway to Nantwich and it was completed in 1826 nearly a decade before the canal itself was finished. To the west, as the canal enters Nantwich, is the Dorfold Hall Estate, where the annual International Cheese Awards are held in July each year, with up to 4,400 different cheese entries from about 26 different countries. The market town of Nantwich, to the east of the canal, was once famous for the production of salt, dating back beyond Roman time. It's a bit of a hike from the canal into the town, but it's well worth it. It has one of the highest concentrations of listed buildings in England, with particularly good examples of Tudor and Georgian architecture. But be careful of any fires. Uh, Nantwich has a bit of a history. The Normans burned the town to the ground, leaving only one building standing, then in December 1583, the Great Fire of Nantwich destroyed most of the town to the east of the River Weaver, which runs through it. Back on the canal, the odd angle between Nantwich Basin and the next stretch of the Shropshire Union shows that the, jo the journey northwards is now on the older, wider Chester Canal built in the 1770s from the River Dee up to Nantwich. To leave Nantwich to the east is the site of the Battle of Nantwich, where parliamentary forces defeated the Royalists besieging the town in January 1644. The battle is reenacted as Holly Holy Day on its anniversary by the Sealed Knot reenactors. A couple of miles out of town, yet another part of the Shropshire Union network, the Llangochlan Canal, also known as the Welsh, heads off up the Hurlston flight of locks into Wales, all the way to the delightful town of Llangochlan. A diversion here will also take you across some of the most impressive canal engineering, culminating in the World Heritage Site centred upon the impressive Ponkastitli Elk Aqueduct that carries the Llangochlan Canal across the River Dee in a cast iron tank supported on 18 massive stone arches. But that's for another day perhaps, and in the next instalment of our journey from the south to the north on the Shroppy, we shall stick with the old Chester Canal.